Take a look at this guy. He's going to travel around the world and he wants to know how to make friends while traveling. How can he make friends while he's traveling around the world? Well, in this lesson, I'm going to give you five tips that are really going to help you make new friends everywhere you travel, even if you're really shy. Okay, so here are the tips. The first tip is that you need to be in an environment that is relaxing and that's a good place to have a conversation. Okay, this is the most important tip. If you're not in a good environment, it's going to be really hard to meet friendly people and make friends, okay? So you need to find good environments to be in everywhere you travel, okay? In my experience, hotels are not a good place to make friends because the environment isn't very good, okay? But youth hostels are a great place to make friends because they have a really good environment. I mean, you're probably going to be sharing a room with other people, okay? So you're going to meet other people for sure, even if you're shy. If you're sharing a bunk bed with someone, you're going to see them and you're going to say, hi, how are you? Or where are you from? Okay, it's gonna be very easy to, to meet someone and have a conversation, okay? But youth hostels also have a common area usually with free Wi-Fi or with some food, coffee, tea, that kind of thing, where people just hang out. Okay, so that's a really great environment for meeting people. Okay, the second step is that you need to look friendly. You need to look friendly. If you're in a nice friendly environment, but you're looking at your phone or you're on your computer or you're reading a book, nobody's going to talk to you because you look busy. You don't look friendly. Okay, so you need to look friendly, smile, and make eye contact with people. Make eye contact with people. I'm sure people will talk to you. They will start the conversation. So you don't even need to do anything, okay? If you look friendly and you're not busy, people will talk to you, I guarantee it. Okay, so find a good environment, look friendly, then the third step is that you need to start a conversation, okay? If someone else doesn't start a conversation with you, then you need to be the one to start the conversation. And that can be really scary, okay? Everybody's afraid of starting a conversation. How do I start a conversation? Okay, well, I'm going to make it very easy for you, even if you're shy, okay? So you can either start a conversation directly or indirectly. If you start a conversation directly, then you're going to sit near someone or some people, okay, and you're gonna say, hey, how's it going? Or, hi, how are you? Okay, so you sit down near someone else, you look at them, you make eye contact, and you say, hey, how's it going? Or, hi, how are you doing? How's your day going? Okay, then you can start, then you'll make conversation. They're going to say, oh, I'm doing really good, thanks. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing great. Where are you from? Okay, then the conversation is started and you can relax. Okay, now it's a little bit challenging sometimes to start a conversation directly. So it's much easier to start it indirectly. And here are some ways to do that. Okay, you could say, hey, do you know the Wi-Fi password? Okay, you can have your phone or your computer. You can go up to someone and you can say, hey, do you know the Wi-Fi password? Okay, and they're going to say, oh yeah, it's such and such. And you can say, oh, thanks. Where are you from? Or how are you doing? How's your day going? Okay, then you can ask another question. And then once you ask one or two questions, then the conversation is started and you can relax. Another good way an indirect way to start a conversation is to be eating something like some cookies or some snacks or something and you sit down near someone and you start eating your cookies and you look up you say hey would you like a cookie 
they're going to say, oh, thanks so much. You can say, how are you doing? Or how's your day going? You're going to say, great. Where are you from? Okay, then you can start a conversation. Look, people who are traveling as well are just like you. They're probably shy. Uh, they don't know how to start a conversation. So if you start a conversation with them, they're going to be really friendly. In my experience, people who travel are very friendly and they're very easy to talk to, okay? So once you start the conversation, it's going to get easier and easier and easier. So you just need to start, remember that, okay? Or you could say, hey, have you been to the Lake Palace? Okay, so you have your travel book or a map or something and you sit down near someone and you're looking at your travel book. Uh, then you can say, hey, have you been to the Lake Palace? Okay, or any other tourist attraction. Okay, tourists always go to the same places, right? That place, that place, that place. It's in their book or on the map, right? So then they're going to say, uh, they can either say yes or no. So have you been to the Lake Palace? They might say, no, I haven't or yeah, I have. Okay, if they say yes, you can say, cool, would you recommend it? And they're gonna say, oh yeah, it was, it was awesome. You should definitely check it out. And then you can ask another question. Oh, how long uh, should I spend there? Or when did you visit? Or just any other question. You can just, if you have another question in your mind to ask them, then the conversation will start and then it'll get a lot easier from there. Okay, but if they say, no, I haven't been to the Lake Palace, then you can just say, oh, no worries. I was just wondering if it's worth seeing. I was just wondering if it's worth seeing. Okay, and then you can say, are you new here? And they're going to say, yeah, I've only been here for two days. And you can say, oh, cool. I just got here last night. I'm just wondering what I should see in this city. Okay, most travelers, they go around to different places. Uh, they might spend like one or two days or three days in a city. And then after they've seen all the sites, then they go to another city. They go to another city. I've been to India a few times and that's how people travel. They go here, then here, then here, then here. Okay, so all these people are the same. They're the same kinds of people. They're very easy to talk to. You just need to start the conversation and they'll be very helpful. If you're asking them for some information, hey, have you been to this place? Can you recommend it to me? Or are there any good restaurants around here? I'm, I'm a bit hungry and I just got here and I don't know where to eat. Can you recommend a good place to me? They're going to be friendly and they're going to help you. Okay, so it's always good to have some questions in your mind. Like if you ask someone for some advice or something, uh, then you don't want the conversation to end. You want it to keep going, right? So here are some questions that you can ask. Where are you from? How long have you been here? Where are you going next? What have you seen since you've been here? It's always good to have some questions in your mind to keep the conversation going as long as you can. Okay, so here's another way to start a conversation indirectly. You can listen to other people and then when you think the time is right, you can say this. Hey, I overheard you guys talking about Hampi. I'm thinking of going there. Would you recommend it? Okay, Hampi is a place in India. Okay, so if you use this strategy, you sit down near some people and you listen to them talking. And then you, you hear them say something that is of interest to you or something that you're going to, to ask them about, okay? So you can say, hey, I overheard you guys talking about Hampi. I'm thinking of going there. Would you recommend it? Then they're going to say, oh yeah, it was amazing. You should definitely go there. And then you have another question ready. You can say, cool, uh, 
when did you guys go there? Or how long did you stay there? Or how long would you recommend that I stay there for? Okay, and they're going to say, oh, you should spend at least three or four days there or a week there. It's so nice. You're gonna, you're really gonna enjoy it. Okay, then you have another question in your mind, okay? You can say, what did you guys do there? Or if I go there, what should I do there? Okay, so you're just always thinking of more questions and it's going to get easier and easier and easier. Okay, so the fourth step, okay, so you found a good environment, you uh, look friendly, you start a conversation, and then the fourth step is to plan the next step. You need to always be planning ahead. If your conversation ends like this, it was nice to meet you. Bye. It was so nice to meet you. Bye. That's it. Then you're never going to see the person again. You don't want your, your friendship to end like that. That's not a friendship. That's just one conversation. Okay, so you need to be thinking about the next step, how the conversation is going to end. Okay, for example, you could say this, hey, I'm going to a traditional restaurant tonight. Would you like to join me? That's perfect. I've done this a lot. Other people have asked me too. Hey, I'm going here. Would you like to join me? Great. Then that keeps the relationship alive and the friendship keeps building. Okay, or you could say, Hey, I'm going to see the Lake Palace tomorrow. Would you like to join me? Or, hey, I'm going to rent a scooter tomorrow and go to Agonda Beach. Would you like to join me? Okay, so you're always thinking of questions. Questions, somehow to keep the friendship growing. Okay, now the last step is to get their contact information. You need to get their contact information because if you go separate ways, you don't want the friendship to end. You need a way to stay in touch. Okay, so it's, it's very easy to get their contact information. After you've had a few conversations with them, it's not going to be scary to say, uh, can we be friends on Facebook? Okay, it's not going to be scary. You can just say it like this. You can say, do you want to see my pictures of Hampy on Facebook? Then they're going to say, Oh yeah, I'd love to. So when you're show, you have your computer, you're showing them some of your pictures of your trip. Then you can just say, Hey, do you want to be friends on Facebook? Do you want to be friends on Facebook? And they're going to say, yeah, I would love to just search for blah, 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 put in their name and your friends. Or if you're going separate ways, you can say, send me some pictures of Varanasi. Let's say that guy is going to South India and this girl is going to Varanasi. Okay, then that guy can say, hey, send me some pictures of Varanasi. Okay, then she's going to say, sure. Do you have Facebook? Or sure, what's your email? Or what's your phone number? Okay, so it's very easy to get people's contact information after you've been talking to them for a while. Okay, so what if you want to make local friends? In my experience, most people who travel uh, meet other travelers. Okay, it's, it's harder to make local friends, but if you want to make local friends, I think the best way to do it uh, might be to use an app like Meetup. Okay, on an app like this, um, you can join different groups like a hiking group or maybe a fitness, a yoga group or a cooking group or something. And there's going to be more locals in those groups. There might be other travelers too, but there's going to be some locals in those groups. Okay, so that's how you make local friends. Now, if you're going to a place long term, like Canada or the US, and you're going to live there for a while, then I have another lesson on how to make friends in Canada. I give you two ways that are guaranteed to make friends. So if you haven't seen that lesson, you can go check out that lesson. But hey, I want to know, what do you think is the best way to make friends while traveling? I've just given you some of my tips, but I want to know, maybe you have some better ideas. Maybe you've traveled around the world and you've met 
hundreds of people, then I want to know your tips, okay? So let me know your ideas down in the comments, and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.